In 2020, you recorded a very raw video talking about how porn has affected your life and relationships, especially with your family. How has your relationship with your family changed since you first got into porn? Uh, my relationship with my family, as I feel like many people's family, it, it changes a bit uh, once I started doing porn. Um, they were all at first like, you know, not loving it, which I feel I, I can completely understand. Yeah. Like I can completely understand because my job choice, it it does affect them. Yeah. You know, it, it, it affects them in their day to day life. If they happen to have like photos of me on their desk or things like that. And it, it definitely affected. And there was like early on in my career, I remember I had a cousin who didn't invite me to her wedding because I was porn star right yeah. read. And, you know, things like that definitely like made me sad. But like I can't deny them that like yeah. there's certain things that I realize that there are I carry a lot of weight and they have to carry some of that weight as well. And that's definitely something that I feel like I've realized more as I've gotten older. And I think when I was younger, I was looking for a lot more support mm -hmm. and stuff like that, which I still think I should have had and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like, you know, my parents don't come from like the best upbringing. I found out that like, I just recently found out that my mom was like kidnapped from her mom. Like her dad kidnapped her oh, no. and like took her. She lived in like seven different states Jesus. when she, before she was five because wow. he was like running from a private investigator like in the 70s, you know? And it's like, Shit. yeah. And like, so it's like things like that that I hear about, like now that I learn about like my parents, I was like, oh, that's why you weren't the best parent. It's a, it makes sense. Yeah, you know? it's interesting when you get older and especially when you become a parent. Yeah, you after realize, having my daughter, she yeah. changed me. So my yeah. fucking wiring in my brain was like yeah. re-circuits. And yeah. like, I'm a whole different person after yeah. having her. I mean, it makes you realize that everybody's like just doing the best with the tools they were given. And some yes. people weren't given tools. Yeah. Like at all. Oh, not a, my parents grew up in like Carroll City, Miami. And so like, if you know what that is, you know, 305, like, you know, Carroll City it's like it's not the best neighborhood and there's not the best information there you know you don't have people who have the most information available and accessible and so like they didn't know much and and my mom yeah. was raised by her grandparents so it wasn't like her parents so that's like even a, a generation you know yeah. so like they had their own issues of being, you know, grandparents and of a different generation and everything like that. So it's like, I feel like there was a lot of, you know, misparenting and whatnot that happened mm -hmm. in their lives that led to my, you know, childhoods that's not the best or whatever. And that led to us having kind of like, you know, those broken dynamic and whatnot. But as I've gotten older and then after having my daughter is like what really changed it because I didn't have like a relationship with kind of either of my parents. I was a little bit more friendly with my dad, but not as much my mom. And I basically realized like if I had, if, I, if my daughter hated me and was having a child and didn't tell me or include me or anything, I would be fucking distraught. Yeah. I would be so sad if Emma like just denied me any relationship with her and her child. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, okay, I can see where that would be really hurtful. So I'm not going to do that to you, mom, because I'm not going to be that malicious. Mm -hmm. And like, you're not that fucking terrible. And so don't fuck it up. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this relationship is over. <laughs> and so uh, we've maintained a pretty good relationship. And I've had to set some boundaries here and there yeah. within, within it. But um, it's been a lot better. And it's been all focused on like family dynamic which has yeah. been really really great and so it's definitely made me want to like learn more about my family and my own traumas like like I don't remember a lot of my life like pre like I think before five and like I don't even it's like so spotty I have like like signature moments that define like certain ages but like yeah. I can't remember in between it and yeah yeah like yeah that. so I think it's, it's like, pretty normal though I don't know. When I talk to certain people, I feel like, and especially my sister, like, remembers, like, everything. Like, mm. I remember stuff. That, like, I don't remember stuff that my sister, like, remembers very vividly. And we're only, like, 14 months apart. Right. And so, like, I think that there's a lot of, and, like, my sister also struggles a lot more. So I mm -hmm. feel like almost maybe her having that memory bank maybe put more trauma in my brain being like, swoop. Yeah. It was like, you're going to survive because we're just not even going to remember any yeah. of this. It's funny how your brain protects itself by like yeah. forgetting stuff. Yeah, I think I think it did. But it makes now having a daughter makes me kind of want to like learn that stuff about myself to just make sure I don't 
do anything that's like fucking subconscious that I'm like, oh, oh, because I like I realized like my mom was kidnapped. My mom kidnapped us. And I was like, I hope I don't fucking kidnap Emma one day. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I see this as like a reoccurring generational thing that has occurred in my life. Like, I don't don't know if my great grandmother was also kidnapped. (laughs) Like, I don't fucking know. (laughs) It's, It's crazy. And it's actually like I think about I think about that a lot now. The tools that we have. To oh, raise yeah. our children now. Like, I've taken, you know, the toddler, like, online workshops, and I've read the books, and I've listened to the podcast. That the tools that you have <clears throat> is only, like, suggested to you based off of, like, who you're around and whatnot. Because, like, the, the tools that I'm using, and when I talk to other moms, they're like, I've never even heard of this. Mm. And they're like, what is this? And I, I, I don't know if it's just, like what they're researching is different. Like their keywords are bringing up other things that my keywords are bringing up. And so like, I feel like sometimes like it's, it is more accessible, but it's still not all there. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates. 